Street TV family. Catch us live on your TV. Welcome screen. back to the show, everybody. You are still tuned in to accept, as my co host would say, the biggest, the baddest, and the most hippening happening show in the motherland. So please continue to hit us up on the social media platforms. I love hearing from you guys. On Twitter, we are XA underscore live. Find us on Facebook, XA underscore live as well. Find us on Twitter, that's Instagram, XA underscore Cape Town TV. Right now, though, I'm joined on the line via Skype interview. Legendary shoplifter. That's not shoplifter, it's powerlifting. Pardon me one time. Welcome to the show, Mr. Abraham Mopora. I hope I said your surname correctly. Yes, it's pronounced correctly, Mopora. It's Mopora. Yeah, it means peace. Oh, okay. Please, for the people that are sitting at home now watching, please explain to us what powerlifting is. Okay, powerlifting is uh, the, strength, the strength competition, mm -hmm. which consists of um, first, um, what you put the you, on, on we get on the stage where the the, the weights on the platform mm -hmm. and you put your your, your your weights onto your onto your weights or your your spine um, your, your back and you put down squat position where your where your 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 your, um, your, your group of beneath the up again. Then we get the bench press. Mm -hmm. you, when you have the bench that is of the rest of you, then you must go down on command to your weight on the first four seconds, and you will get the, uh, the press command, and you must go up and then rest. And the deadlift is only one command where you have. The weights on the on the bar, uh -huh. and you must to your to your to your um, above your knee, go mm. under your so and wait for the jump. Come on, that's yeah. a basically mm -hmm. a basic um um uh bench in in the competition, squat, bench, and gloves. You have quite a number of titles under your belt, and I understand that you started at 50 because you took upon a powerlifting for your health since you were diagnosed with asthma. How has that been the journey of uh, to your health, more healthy lifestyle? Yes, when I start, I used to play soccer when I was young. I couldn't, I couldn't love weights to save my life. Really. <laughs> uh, I turned out that you know. Uh -huh. um, I soccer for a, for a local club, and then I was still a little bit above the youngster because we, I paid over 35, and I have to compete with my own, I have to compete with the youngster. So I, I started a new sport, something different. And, and when I started training, I saw I saw my my breathing improve, and then I, I googled the facts about the sport. Hmm. They said it's for diabetics, for asthma, high blood pressure, low blood pressure. And I just continued with it, and, and I saw how far the sport could take me. Mm. And now, as I said, the rest is history. You know, I competed at the highest level. Mm. It's in my country more than five times in wow. the competition. So, yeah. And this uh, sport is not quite popular. Not a lot of people know about it. What are some of the challenges as an individual you face as a powerlifter? Okay, the, the, the most challenging the, the most challenging uh, uh aspect of power of so you know mm. in this you cannot you have to do the, the exercise so, mm. and you have to do go in a gym because i was lucky to to, to get the donation from power of thing because of the, the development work that i do so the, the, with the completion so that we have a thousand Thousand and mm. the benefit of this shit, I have to bring young lifters every year, you know, develop young lifters. So the challenges are, you know, in beaches playing, you live in a in a in a in, in an area where there's drug, mm. where there's violence, where it's where where you know, so being everywhere to get youngsters interested in the sport, you know. Mm. And it takes time for them to develop because first it's an experience. Like, I love the pain because 
if you are so heavy, you need to train your body. And we found that the young to see the response of who in it for the you know for the sport because if you stay away after the first two, then it's different, you know, for you. But whoever comes back, that's the talent I can work with. And there's other raw talent in this play. Mm -hmm. I, say, yeah. I recruit every year. I'm actually now with my first group of youngsters that I intend to take to SS. Mm -hmm. Seven, seven to eight people, youngsters, you know, take them to three. And yeah, I'm going to feed them. Money also plays a bigger role, mm. you know? Mm. And, but, just to be example, you can go into, into a competition with an old play belt. You know, it must be IPF approved. Mm. Everything must be approved. The belt cost you know, a half thousand rand. The simulated vision competing must be IPF approved. It costs another two thousand rand. So, you know, we have to work and raise the funds to get these young people. So, it's just not about the training, it's also equip them with a, with a proper gear. To keep them steady, to keep mm. them out. You know, so it's a very challenging sport. I can imagine. Good sport. Mm, quite interesting. For somebody that's watching at home right now, that's interested in this recruitment and development, uh, where do they start? Where do they begin? Okay, most people start usually going to their local gym. Mm. You know, they, you, you go, people go to a active or zone fitness, and they usually see people there that do some some sort of strength, mm. you know, but very technical if you, if you want to progress. You know? mm. So, start at a local term and somehow, somewhere, somebody knows some people, be, the sport is starting to grow, especially in Mississippi. I think in Mississippi we have now three current clubs mm. in both. Growing in Mississippi, so there are people in a local term that, that, that they do power of training. Now, we don't do but the exemplary work, my, my, my intake of sport is just do a lot of reps and concentrate on technique. So I make it look easy because mm. I've, I've been doing, you know, for example, per, per session. So that will perfect my technique. That will look, look easy. It isn't necessarily easy, but you do a lot of reps and repetition becomes easier. Of, uh, one last question before I let you go. The people that are inspired by your story, where can they find you on social media in case maybe they have more questions or they're looking for mentorship or some sort of guidance? Where can people find you on social media? Yeah, well, I, I, the only set of media that I basically have is uh, um, on, on WhatsApp, but our club is started the Instagram page and mm. by one of our lifters. Mm. They must have uh, as soon as as soon as I get that the, the information that page, it's up and up about now to be done soon. You know where we get where we get um, our people, our training, everything that happens in our club. Um, gonna be on our Instagram Instagram page. Thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate you. That was a legendary uh, in the sphere of powerlifting, Abraham Mabara. Go check out more of what they do in the club in case you guys are interested. They're still tuned in to Excel. There's more coming up in Ngainda. We'll see you just after this. CTV family. Catch us live on your TV screens.